Hello students, welcome back to Programming in C Language. Myself, Srikant. We are discussing computer fundamentals. In the previous sessions, we discussed in detail about primary memory and memory hierarchies. Like uh, in the primary memories, we discussed in detail about what? RAM, ROM, cache memory and uh, virtual memory and different types of RAM and ROMs we discussed in detail in the previous sessions. Okay. See, so coming to this session, the main agenda of this session is what? Differentiate between what? RAM and ROM. What is the major difference between what? RAM and ROM. We'll discuss in detail in this session. Okay. See, the major differences of RAM and ROM. So you can also write this in tabular format. I written major points for differentiating RAM and ROM in the paragraph wise as well as tabular format. Both I wrote. So you can make it out one singular tab, tabular format also. Okay. See, this is what RAM looks like that. This is our RAM chip. This is about what? ROM. Okay. See, what, what is RAM? Random access memory. What is the ROM? ROM stands for what? Read only memory. See, we discussed different types of RAMs in the previous sessions like static ram s ram dynamic ram d ram with detailed explanation with the history we discussed in detail with, with including features and everything right yeah coming to ram there also we discussed different types of rom like uh, m rom mask rom p rom programmable read only memory ep rom erasable programmable read only mem memory EEP ROM, electrically erasable programmable read only memory. Like that, we had discussed in detail about complete primary memories, including majorly including what? These RAM types with the features, history, ROM types with features and histories we discussed in detail. If you missed their session, kindly click the below link given in the description box and check it out. Okay, fine. See, coming to this session. What are the major differences between RAM and ROM? So RAM is a temporary memory of the computer. Simply, we can call it is a volatile memory. So ROM is what? Permanent memory of the computer. It's what? Non-volatile memory. See, RAM is a volatile memory as it temporarily stores the files as long as the computer is on and working. See, whatever the data and instructions are keep on working, that instructions data is stored in what? The main memory called RAM, random access memory. See, coming to the ROM, in the ROM, it is what? Permanent memory. See, that's what we can call it is non-volatile memory as it permanently stores the files even when the power is what? turned off such as like game cartridge and BIOS programs stored in the memory of a computer basic input output systems say I told you booting process right initially when you switch on your computer then once you start this processing internally it going to be reads whatever the operating system related data and instructions loading say that done by what? That instructions are going to be stored in what? ROM, read-only memory. So that process we may call it what? Booting process. Okay. So this BIOS information, all these instructions are written in what? ROM, read-only memory. So it is a large in size than ROM. It comes in different sizes. I told you, right? Generally, this RAM comes in the size of what? Megabytes, MB, megabytes and GB gigabytes okay see uh, it comes in two different sizes for use in desktop computers and laptops a desktop RAM is around what 5.5 inches in length and one inch in what width see whereas the laptop RAM is around what of the length of desktop RAM okay see coming to ROM its size ranges from less than an inch in length to multiple inches in length and width basis on their use. It has a less capacity than what? RAM. See, we discussed different types of RAMs like DRAM, SRAM. SRAM stands for what? Static Random Access Memory. And coming to DRAM stands for what? Dynamic Random Access Memory. See, these, are, these two are what? Different types of RAM. Coming to ROM, 
the rom is categorized by different types like m rom mask rom mask read only memory p rom programmable read only memory ep rom erasable programmable read only memory eep rom electrically erasable programmable read only memory so these two are different types of rams and different types of rom so this is also we can mention in what a difference between ram and rom so these are all what the basic differences between ram and rom so we go to the in detail differences like information stored and retrieved what any time in ram in ram we can able to store any kind of information and retrieve it any time but in rom information is what stored permanently it is ram coming to ram it is a read write memory the data can be written and read so try to understand in ram we can do read operation write operation that's what we here mentioned the point is what read write memory ram is what read write memory the data can be written and read both operation is doing read and write operation but coming to rom it is it is read only memory the data can only be read okay information can be what altered in ram in ram we can able to alter the information but in rom information cannot be altered so if you want to alter the information in rom further you go with what next level of different types of rom coming to ram ram storage capacity ranges for what mb to what gb okay see yesterday session only i told like 5 12 mb like 1 gb 2 gb 4 gb 8 gb so on like in the form of what gb so mb to gb size is going to be uh, ranges is going to be varies simply we can call capacity ranges from G mb to gb so coming to rom the rom storage capacity ranges from what 4 to 8 mb per chip okay coming to ram it is possible to randomly select and store the information see this word randomly see if you go with the in detail about the memory addresses about this processor and main memory this uh, processor is going to be generate what logical addresses this main, main memory is going to be generated what physical addresses there in the physical address again contiguous memory allocations non contiguous memory allocations are there in the contiguous memory allocations there we are going to be representing what in the form of what fixed partitions equal to size unequal to size that manner but in case of dynamic partition it going to be allocating memory dynamically based on the processor sizes after that non contiguous memory allocations there data is going to be stored what this address information is going to be stored and process allocation is going to be stored what randomly that's what name came here for what randomly select and store the information that's what the name came for what ram random access memory because the memory is not in what in the particular manner there the in the ram we can able to store the information what randomly not in a particular manner okay but coming to rom it is not possible to randomly select and stores the information in a rom coming to ram ex execution speed depends upon the what capacity of ram because ram varies what mb to gb when you are keep on increasing the size of the ram the storage capacity also increases then the speed of the execution is also increases okay see completely the speed is going to be depend upon what capacity of ram if you are increasing more size of the ram your the performance and the speed is going to be increases okay but in rom there is no such kind of dependencies in the ram data stored in ram can be retrieved and we can also alter not only reading not only writing we can also do what alt alteration also retrieving means what getting getting the data okay coming to rom we can only read the data stored in rom it cannot be altered but if you want to alter already i i, I informed i told you right we discussed in the previous video session we discussed different types of roms like p rom ep rom eep rom like that okay see next in the ram it is faster than rom as it 
as it is a high speed memory i told you right if you are increasing the capacity of the ram it going to be what increases the speed okay that's what ram is what faster than what rom it is a high speed memory but rom is what it is slower than what ram in ram the data stored in ram is used by the cpu in real time to run the computer but coming to rom the data stored in rom is used by what cpu only when it is transferred to ram okay try to understand in ram the data stored in ram is used by the cpu in what real time to run the computer applications but coming to rom the data stored in rom is used by the cpu only when it is transferred to what ram see i can tell very simple example if you are writing in future i am going to be write one program right set of instructions that instructions are going to be stored in what main memory for execution of these instructions based on this what ram memory that's what whatever the application want to execute or run that information instructions are going to be stored in what ram memory random access memory okay in ram it temporarily stores the files and data that the cpu needs to process the current instruction or work because i told you this ram can only hold or stores temporary data only it cannot be permanent in case any power off the computer suddenly crashes or off whatever the data stored in the ram that data is going to be what vanish the data is going to be lost that's what ram is what volatile in nature but coming to rom it stores the bios program on the motherboard of a computer which need which is needed to bootstrap the computer okay so just you need to assume when you click start your computer why desktop cannot come directly because that operating system instructions that bios instruction is going to be stored where that bios program instructions are stored where rom when you start up your processor then it reads this rom is going to be reads that instructions where that bios program and operating system instructions are stored that going to be reads from that instruction and process it that process is called booting process we may call later in case any kind of operating system or bios program instructions are damaged there then unable to open your uh, the operating systems it going to be getting one bios errors okay like unable to open your operating system because of missing some instructions and files why because every time when you are going to be start your processor when you are start your computer that time the rom takes the responsibility for reading the instructions stored from the rom that process is called what booting process so simply can remember it stores what bios program on the motherboard of a computer which is needed to what bootstrap the computer okay we'll discuss in detail what is this bootstrap and everything in the coming sessions in the dos okay at present you try to understand what is booting process okay right next point in ram the stored data is easy to access okay but coming to rom the stored data is not as easy to access as it is in the rom see ram is what costlier than what rom because ram the prices is going to be vary based on what capacity range of the ram because like 512 mb it has one price if you go with 1 gb it has some different price 2 gb 4 gb 8 gb like when it capacity is going to be increases the ram the price also varies that's what comparatively ram prices rom is what it's a cheaper or low cost okay next point ram allows the computer to read data quickly to run what applications but coming to rom rom stores the program required to initially boot the computers okay rom is going to be booting the process okay that's what rom uh, rom consists what that uh, in built uh, uh, bios programs or instructions operating system instructions are stored in for rom for booting the computer 
the best examples of ram is what it is used as a cpu cache memory like static ram in the previous video explained right s ram sir and a primary memory in a computer like a dram okay and the examples of rom is like it is used as what firmware by microcontrollers firmware is nothing but what group of hardware and software that represents what firmware so this is a major differences between what ram and rom very very important for what exam point of view and interview point of view okay so these many differences i provided in detail about ram and rom see in depth if you required in detail about each point in the previous video session in the primary memories i explained in detail about what is dram history of dram features and function functions of a dram like similarly sram and also explained in detail about what mask rom p rom ep rom ep rom and so on okay see this is the major differences between what ram and rom okay yeah that's it for the today session okay if you really like my videos make it like if you are not subscribed kindly subscribe my videos for more updates of computer fundamentals and programming in c language okay thank you for watching my videos thank you all